Hi. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. It feels so weird to see people. I know. Like, not work people. I mean, it's been, what, like, I'm losing track of time. Two and a half months? 11, we're in the 11th week. Okay, yes. Of, of the thing, but I mean, it's not like I saw you the day before it started, so it's been true a lot longer than we've seen each other. When was the last time? We saw each other in 2020, right? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Either I'm way, good. it's like, we live across the city from each other, but it feels like we're worlds apart right now. I don't know about you, but like for, for the longest period of time, I kind of felt lost. But these days, I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't. I I hesitate to say it's a new normal because I don't think we've hit that part. I mean, like where we live, we're still technically under emergency orders until June 9th, right? So it certainly doesn't feel like we've hit any kind of stability. But there is a repetitiveness to it now that is familiar so it feels a little less panicky but still scary my neighborhood at least is that you're starting to see people out a little bit more the weather's nicer here in toronto so the weather made a big difference i got in touch with you a couple weeks ago as you know was it a couple weeks ago or was it three days ago i can't even tell whatever and it's in the time it's in the time warp <laughs> exactly and i thought we could maybe catch up on zoom and also do it as a video for the YouTube channel because we found over the past couple months a lot of people have decided to marathon Bergman and the activity on a lot of the oh. videos has been crazy. Lots of comments. I thought it was a good opportunity to catch up because I mean for a lot of the viewers this series just wrapped up relatively recently but mm -hmm. for us it's been what like four years? Oh, more than that. Five and a half, no? You're probably right. Again, I've totally lost track of time. Well, because we, we wrapped filming it, but then you still had quite a few duties left to edit, so you were a bit closer to it. For me, I feel like we, we shot the last episode, we clinked our glasses, and I went about my merry way, <laughs> and you were there <laughs> on your computer editing away. <laughs> dealing with endless technical problems. It was funny to watch the last uh, video that we made because at the time I vaguely referenced technical issues, but I had no idea what I was in for. Like computers crashed and files I thought were lost for a long period of time and then were rediscovered. So No, you kept threatening me with reshoots. And I... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. At That's one point like, I thought we might have to. Totally. I'm down. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's very... It's very weird to get questions about movies that we watched like six years ago, but very specific questions. I mean, I, I love the questions, but I'm not as familiar with the films as people might assume. It does feel distant. I think like we haven't talked about it obviously as much as we did when we were filming the series, but when we do get together um, pre-COVID, when we did get together pre-COVID, and we would occasionally reference like, oh, whatever happened with, or you'd say, oh, I got this really interesting message. And then we would start talking about it. The cobwebs would lift eventually. And we'd be like, oh yeah, I remember it was, I think if we start to dig into it now, it would be the same. Your memory is also better than mine. Let's that is also true. <laughs> but I think one thing that really reminded me that all of this time has passed, not during COVID, but before all of this is, all the actors that we've lost in the past couple of years. I mean, B.B. Anderson, Erlen Josephson, um, Max von Sydow most recently. A lot of the people that we, we took for granted even a couple of years ago are now mm -hmm. gone. I mean, it's it, that project took us seven or eight years really when it came down to it. So yeah, I mean, not just the loss of the actors themselves, but I think the whole industry I mean, the industry is always undergoing change, but I feel like in the past decade, there has been such a dramatic shift, like not even talking just about streaming and, and dominance that um, that streaming content has in, in the entertainment industry and in the cinematic industry right now. I think those shifts have also really impacted both how people create and how people consume when we shot those videos, the Me Too movement really hadn't taken hold. And I, I think if we 
reassess some of his films at least we may have some different perspectives on his you know his presentation of relationships um the power structure i mean we could probably make yeah some of that stuff probably hasn't aged well (laughs) no and i mean it hadn't when we watched it but just so much has shifted in a matter of four years Mm -hmm. um and i mean i guess personally for us a lot has changed too especially for you (laughs) Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it was like a veil was lifted. As soon as the project finished, I felt free to pursue my life. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but in all seriousness, you're right. Like, I I mean, I got married. We bought our first house. I had a kid. I switched jobs. Like, a lot, a lot has happened. And it's not like I'm a different person, but I'm definitely in a different phase of life. Yeah, I get I, for you. I think aside from you know the the editing of the project, that made you even feel more distant from it. I, I would assume. Yeah, I definitely like you. You just don't have enough mind space when when you're trying to do all of these other things and and raise another human who's very needy. By the way, did you know that babies super needy? Um, <laughs> they tend to kind of take over your life. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was, there was, there weren't a lot of hours left to kind of think about the technological aesthetics of Bergman film and the complex psychologies of his characters, unfortunately. Um, a bit better now, now that the kiddo's older. But has it but, changed? Do you, do you think you, have you viewed any, have, have you viewed any of the films differently in reflection or has, has it ever You know what, I mind? think I probably would. Like, I think especially the films where he did present parental relationships or conflicts, I probably would have a different emotional response to to that. Maybe not intellectual, but I think I would have perceived it differently if I were to sit down and watch some of those films today with just that life experience under my belt. And what about you? Well, I did a lot of traveling. For the past four years, I've gone all over the place. Um, most recently, I've been to Hawaii, and before that, Japan, uh, Thailand, uh, France. I mean, I think I think when, when I was talking about this with you recently, you sort of pointed out how fortunate I have been to mm. you know, visit so many different countries and have so many different experiences from like, Vietnam to Panama. And it, it, and you're right; it, it's it's given me a real perspective and an appreciation for the diversity of the world. So I think that's one thing that really, I think has shaped me in some ways over the past few years. And of course, Bergman in Sweden a little bit before. That's right. I'm still, I really wish I could have made it on that trip. It's if I regret one thing is not doing that and the leave Allman interview, those two things. Um, I just wish that things had lined up better. But we never saw this project becoming what it was. And even now, like when, when I wrapped that last video in 2019, I thought that was the end of it. I, well, first off, I didn't think there'd be a pandemic. I didn't think we would have this opportunity to sort of regroup. But it seems like, you know, this is, this, this is what people want to do. They want to connect. And to me, that Bergman YouTube channel is an extension of, you know, myself in a way, of yourself. You might not feel it quite the same way, but it, I mean you have a presence there online and what we spoke about so long ago is still out there for better yeah, or worse. I know. I think it's interesting. I, a, I think it's interesting that we've been able to start a dialogue with people all over the world that we know nothing about, who know nothing about us. Um, but we have this one shared interest and, and a platform that actually brings us together. I think that's absolutely fascinating. And the fact that it has had this longevity um, I think that's more of a testament of Bergman's art than it is of anything that we managed to cobble together in terms of a sentence. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm all for it. I'm glad that we made the effort and had that wacky idea and, and didn't really overthink it in terms of like, what are we going to achieve and what are we going to get out of it? And how are we going to look like we, we really didn't think about any of those things when we started, we just had this passion project and, and put it out there. And the more feedback we got, the more engaged we became. I think with that in mind, like what have people been saying lately, David? Well, 
Oh, it worked. Look, it's like I'm still there. You're magic. <laughs> Our Zoom is magic. <laughs> but it doesn't, the effect isn't quite as good as I had hoped. No, please don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll shut that off. What are people saying? Well, I mean, they comment on the videos as they're watching the movies. There, there have been a number of people who have said, you know, I've, I've been in my house, so I've started to marathon Bergman and I just came across the series. So that really seems to be the way that people are finding it. But the one thing that has remained consistent in a lot of the conversations that people have posted on the YouTube channel is that big question of what's next? Who are you going to produce videos on now that you're done Bergman? And I mean, we pointed out it's been four years and we haven't done a single one until this. It's well, not, yeah. yeah, and I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not. Um, <laughs> And but that I don't think that's unique to this instance. Uh, like I think we've been getting that all along over the years. But who did we see? We got Fellini, Kubrick. Kubrick, yeah. Were you the one that suggested Michael Bay? Yeah, it sounds like me. But that was a <laughs> lark. I was just being facetious. I know, but it was still a suggestion. I don't know. I I think I've gotten also to that stage of maturity where I really question. Do we need more content out there? Like, are we making something of enough quality and substance and contribution to society that it really needs to be put on the internet at this point? But what I would definitely do is just hang out with you and watch great films without making a project out of it. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like, I mean, we have been doing that, but yeah, both you and I are, we're the kind of people that are like, okay, we have this. So now what will we make of it? I know we need a purpose. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no. It's just the timing has to be right. And yeah. maybe it wouldn't be like having the experience in the hindsight now. Maybe we wouldn't pick something quite as ambitious. Um, it's really finding that space that doesn't already exist. So that, as you said, you're not just making content. What we intended mm -hmm. to do here was make something unique. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it's out there and I hope that it continues to encourage people to discover. I'm really glad we had a chance to do this. I think this is probably one of the things that I've missed the most is just our banter um, and this kind of notion of maybe future discovery. Like, are we going to do another series? Who would it be? Like, I'm glad we had a chance to revisit again. Yeah, I've, I've to be honest, over the past few weeks, just seeing people interact with the videos, I mean, it's been isolating in here. And that kind of stuff does mean something. I, I mean, I, I could say it doesn't, but it does. I mean, it's encouraging to know that, you know, something we put our hearts into still has a life out there and that people are finding it useful. But, I mean, I hope when this is all over that we get to get back to discussing movies off of Zoom, in person, social distance, physically distance, whatever we have to do, but um, I, I miss it and I miss you. Same. The isolation and the distancing of this pandemic and also just the, the realization of how fragile we all are um, has, been, has been heavy. So it'll be great to have that lifted. Hopefully this will all start to fade away. Well, it was good to catch up with you and uh, it was. It was so good. Let's uh let's chat again soon, I guess. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And not just about Bergman. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna slip in a little bit about Bergman. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Well take care, Sonia. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. You too, David. Bye. Bye.